Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age teams against each other and you guys vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of the War of Light set. Simeon is building out of Edpool. Simeon, why don't you go over your team? Tell us what, what figures got the most votes out of the, the amazing Deadpool set. Surprisingly pretty even across the board as far as votes. Um, so we got... First on the team, uh, I think highest votes was probably Wolverine, Agent of Hydra, maybe Cosmic X-23. Not a lot of votes for any of the chases, which was interesting. Um, but first on the team, we've got evil version of Deadpool, I think. I don't know. It's been a long time since I looked into T-Ray. This guy's got seven range, one lightning bolt. He's got a special speed and a special attack power. No end um. He's got the Mystics team ability, 120 points. Assassin, martial artist, mystical. He's got a trait, imbued blade. Characters that have taken damage from T Ray's close combat attacks can't be healed, and damage mm. dealt to them can't be reduced below one. I really like characters like this in theory, but there's not a ton of actual healing that goes on in like a lot of games. Um, not without, like, a steel energy, I guess. Uh, his special speed power is Deadpool's Arch Nemesis. So T-Ray can use Phasing Teleport, and then a part of it that I'm not going to be able to use at all is when he does, you may instead place him adjacent to any opposing character with, the Deadpool, with Deadpool in its name. After actions resolve, T-Ray may be given a close combat action as a free action, which nowadays is just capital close. Um... And then he's got hieroglyphic, hieroglyphic scraps of paper. T-Ray can use super senses. Give T-Ray a free action and choose a standard attack power. He can use mm. that power until your next turn, which is pretty cool. Uh, any pick-a-power stuff. And he's like 7 range, so any pick-a-power stuff is always good. His ability to phase and then make a close combat action is good. Um yeah, only 120 points for this guy with mid-dial support. Mm. Good. All good. Uh, next up. Mid-dial support, though. Another super rare is <laughs> almost 120 points. 118 is Kingpin. So he's a in the shadows behind the desk kind of Kingpin, even though he's like holding a staff as if he's going to beat I was about to say, we have a behind the desk Kingpin. This is not a yeah. behind the desk kingpin well his dial is his dial yeah. makes more sense for the behind the desk thing also no end um uh one trait everyone works for me kingpin can use mastermind he can use it normally or once per turn he can use it to transfer damage to any friendly character regardless of point value and adjacency so mm. that's decent um we'll see if it's worth keeping him around for he also has a special attack power most of his dial that is eyes everywhere. He can use outwit when he does. He can count range and draw a line of fire from any friendly character within eight range. Mm. And then he has a special damage power that is pretty interesting. It's I only hire the very best hitmen. Kingpin can use enhancement if an adjacent friendly character can use at least one of precision strike, ranged combat expert, the sharpshooter ability, or improved targeting ignores hindering terrain, it can use all of them. So if I've got someone with precision strike, they now have ranged combat expert, sharpshooter, improved targeting ignores hindering, that's pretty cool. Or if they've got improved targeting, they now get precision strike, ranged combat expert. It's a good little... Uh, yeah, I love that power. It's awesome. To the all the like stuff next up the shortest dial uh on my entire team i think even shorter than dog pool uh is cosmic x23 at the 100 point line so this is normal x23 at this point because she's she's uh hurt i guess uh she has the uni power improved targeting back when they gave us flavor text for that that's improved targeting, ignores hindering, ignores outdoor blocking train, and ignores characters. And ignores outdoor blocking is no longer a thing in modern play, um, as Arno Stark found out the hard way. Uh, she also has a trait, Cosmic Healing Factor. 
Give Cosmic X-23 a free action. Roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled. On a result of 4 to 5, heal 1 click. On a result of 6, heal 2. So it's like mm. a 50-50 heal every turn. And then she has 2 clicks of regen and prob at the end of her dial. Uh, she starts with Energy Claws for her first 2 clicks. X-23 can use Blades Claws Fangs. And I add half of her target's damage value to the result of the d6 roll. Huh. Which is pretty cool. Uh, so if you've got like four damage and I roll a two, I'm dealing two da- or I'm dealing four damage. If you've got like a five, I get a round up to three, etc. Uh, works great against like Galactus and random stuff like that. Uh, next up is Wolverine, Agent of Hydra. Uh, so he's got Hydra, Martial Artist, The Hand, and Weapon X. He's got improved movement. Through hindering terrain, I go where I want to go. He's got a trait, my kind of Hydra. When a friendly character with the Hydra team ability... Oh, when friendly characters use the Hydra team ability, they can also affect close combat attacks and don't need line of fire to the target. Which is just Kingpin, but that's still pretty cool. Uh, He's got three clicks of special speed power. She makes me invisible. Wolverine, Adrian of Hydra, can use charge and stealth. When he uses charge, he does not have his speed value from it, and he can use improved movement, ignores characters. And then mid-dial, he gets three clicks of Hydra brainwashing techniques. He can use mind control with a range value of six. When he does, a hit target gains the Hydra keyword, and all friendly characters adjacent to the target can use the Hydra team ability for this action. It's kind of (laughs) weird. Um... It's weird, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that really benefits me a whole lot, but it's interesting. It's flavorful, Simeon. That's yeah. how it benefits you. But it's he's, flavorful. He's a fast guy, and he's got blades. He also has leadership for his first three clicks, and I was doing the math before we started recording. Um, he either shares a keyword, he shares a keyword with three of these guys, so martial artist with T-Ray, Hydra with Kingpin, and uh, Weapon X with cosmic x23 and then he's just more points than this last character who is dog pool and i just realized i forgot all the word balloons but that's fine they're kind of a headache to play with so dog pools last but not least uh coming in at 65 points he's a tiny size character charge precision strike super senses uh we're gonna ignore the merc with a mount trait because i don't want to dig up 30 word balloons right now uh there's only like 12 come on <laughs> i could if you really want to oh. i just don't know how they attach grab the blank one make them wild card hydra and that's it yeah there It'll you go. everybody uh he's got a special damage power for his first three clicks bark what do you find boy timmy in the well again dog pool can use perplex but only to decrease a defense value when he uses perplex he can use improved targeting ignores hindering terrain and targeted characters can't use stealth this turn so he's hmm. sniffing them out. It's kind of cool. I like that power. Well, head on, dude. I like it. Deadpool was one of the first sets I ever bought a brick of. So I really liked the uh, oh. like the fact that, hey, you've got, uh, yeah, you got some objects over objects. there, bro. Yeah. You got some objects you got to go into and yeah. set on the map. There wasn't so. a lot of... Uh... Oh, they're on there. They're, they're just tiny. They're over here. Are they? Oh, okay. You just made new ones. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, Deadpool was like one of the sets where there wasn't really like bad bricks because all the super rares were pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so I have two objects. The straight jacket, which is a relic roll of one through six. Uh, this character can't make rage combat attacks and deals no damage when making a close combat attack. When this character hits with an attack, place this relic on the hit character's card and then that character can use this effect, um, which is no ranged combat attacks. I've tried to use this multiple times in, like, friendly games, try and, like, figure out who their best, like, shot is, and then, or just the person with the highest damage, and you throw the straight jacket on them, and then you've got, like, one turn where they can't really do anything other than give it back. Yeah. yeah. It's cool for three points. Um, yeah, it's one of those, like, 3D objects that's just kind of neat to have. And then I also have the Omega Drive, which is when this character uses Outwit, it can target any character within its range, regardless of line of fire, and may use its Outwit to counter powers that can't normally be counted. 
which is kind of a busted three points at the time. Uh, this is before the super rare Nick Fury that could do this kind of thing. And so for three points, having a way to get around uh, Power Cosmic was pretty big. Oh, yeah. Nah, dude, the, Omega, the Omega Drive is insane. All right, so my team, building out of War of Light, we have a good mix of month one, month two, and we got an LE figure in here. So let's start with Ron Vidar, figure I never, I mean, literally never played, but I always had him and could never get rid of him, never knew who he was. Legion of Superhero guy, apparently. Don't really care that much. So Ron Vidar, 80 points. He technically has the spotlight attached to him, which is his construct trait. So in building your force, you may attach a construct lantern to this character by paying its point cost. This character a power action replace the construct with any other construct up to two points higher than the original construct. This character has no action tokens, and the new construct is lower point value than the original construct. This is a free action instead. I really like that ability. I use it a lot on characters that weren't Rond Vidar. Uh, his other trait is Time Cube. Once per game, when Rond Vidar is hit with an attack, you may place him or the attacker in their respective starting area. This is probably the coolest thing he does. It's pretty, it's pretty sick. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Special attack power he has for three clicks of his life he is Undercover Green Lantern. He can use Shape Change in Stealth. Which is cool works well with his flight uh, and then he has will uh, i hate it when they don't give these green lantern dudes the will power on their first clicks he has it only on the back half of his dial um, by back half i mean the rest of his dial except for click one which sucks robert arkney's willpower an opposing character targets ron vidar with outwit or perplex roll a d6 on the results of four through six you ignore that effect which is really cool and he's just kind of a supporty piece who i guess can make attacks occasionally and that's rond good old rond now let's talk about the best green lantern uh but as a red lantern shall we this is guy gardner i uh, just oh what a beast this is our second time we get to play technically chainsaw red lantern guy gardner in this series which is great if you want to watch the first time we play him i'll link it in the description below because that's just a great game he has a special speed power for his first four clicks which is fury unleashed he can use charge flurry and sidestep, which, ooh, that's just awesome. So he's got a seven square charge of flurry top dial. He has a special attack power in his middle two clicks of his dial. I really wish I would have given this more or, you know, just it's in a crappy, weird spot. So Guy Gardner can use poison and deals penetrating damage from using it. It's the basic rage thing. Can't fly, can't right. even though he's a lantern. I don't know why they, I mean, they can't be right. Well, he's not sidelined. He doesn't, he doesn't come in from your sideline to do that immediately. How does he have penetrating poison and not be a sideline character? Oh, this I is, know, right? <laughs> what a weird, what a weird thing. These modern times to golden times, it really be like that also, sometimes. Like, All right, uh, having that traded or like immediately accessible. Yeah, so I don't more, know. So they made all of the. Rage, the will, the hope, all of that was always a special power in this set. Maybe some people had it traded, but it was pretty much always a special power for whatever reason. And it was always hidden in their dial. It was almost never top dial, which sucks. All right, next up, uh, the Spectre here. Uh, we're going to play him at 200 points, so he starts on click three. There's a trait, Hatred Fills My Soul. Funny figures within four squares can use Blades, Claws, Fangs. When they do and roll a 5 or 6, deal them 1 unavoidable damage after actions resolve. I don't know, like, if I want to use that or not want to use that, like... I mean, that's a good trade-off, Probably, though. If you're dealing... It's interesting. If you're dealing, like, even after reducers, like, 3 to 4 damage, and you're only taking yeah. 1 unavoidable. It sucks really bad if you, like, push and then also roll, like, a 5 or and 6. And then do it? That'd be rough. Oh, yeah. yikes. Right. Uh, he has Rage... Soul Igniting. This is kind of like Guy, but it has extra stuff to it. So this is for his first four clicks, his special attack power. Spectre can use poison and deals penetrating damage from using it. At the beginning of the game, whenever Spectre KOs an opposing character... What do you mean at the beginning of the game? Why? Okay, whatever. Let's just... At the beginning of the game, and whenever Spectre... Oh, okay. KOs an opposing character 25 points or more. Put a Soul Reap counter on this card. 
When he uses poison, opposing characters in X squares and line of fire are considered adjacent, where X is the number of soul reap counters. All right, so I got to give him a soul reap counter, apparently. Yeah. And then... In bigger games, when those stack uh, up, is, it gets pretty cool. Like, if this was, like, a thousand-point game, I bet. was just picking off people and eventually got up to, like, five or something. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice. Right, and then his damage power for the first four clicks is Holy Aura of Rage. At the beginning of your turn, choose. Spectre possesses Battle Fury this turn, or he doesn't. That's if he does, so until your next turn can't be targeted by an opposing character, opposing figures, unless they are adjacent. So he gets Battle Fury and he can't be targeted. He already like can't be carried because he's a giant. So like, yeah. I'm yeah. not giving Battle Fury, and I guess it's your choice if you want to be able to use range that turn, right. basically. Uh, but it's cool. But I mean, he has, it's a he very cool power. Like a lot of people, even yeah. at this time. So it's yeah. kind of cool that, like, if it's a turn where he has to clear and he's not going to take an action anyhow, you just give him Battle Fury, and then he's protected from range. Yeah. And last, certainly not least, now uh, maybe he is Moro. Kind of looks least. Uh, got two votes, Moro. Um, I don't know why. So, anyways, let's just get into him. He has a trait, Crypt Keeper of the Core. I honestly have no idea who this guy is. Uh, apparently, he's the Crypt Keeper of the Cores. Uh, when another friendly character, the Green Lantern Core's keyword is KO'd, turn it to any click and then place it on this card. Moro can use any standard powers on that click. So, he can basically steal powers if Rond dies like right away or whatever. Uh, he's the only Green Lancer on the team. It's it's neat. And then, of course, he has the whole will power. He has a bit more, though, with it. So he can use willpower when opposing character targets Moro without Wit of Perplex. Roll a d6 on a 4 through 6. Ignore the effect. When opposing character in 6 scores takes pushing damage, heal Moro one click, which is really cool. He has it on his last four clicks of style. So like this makes sense. He has it on the la latter half of his dial. Because he can heal, which is neat. Other than that, you know, not a lot of movement attack. He's got some stealth blades, outwit, and vulnerability. Pretty decent. Pretty decent guy. He's got his little not Lockheed purple dragon with him. Yeah. That's that is my team. The old the old lantern course. We got a mix of red and green. I think this guy gardeners month two. They don't have set numbers. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yeah, this other dude is month two, and then Moro is also, never mind, they're all month two, except for Ron Vidar, who is a month one prize, I think. Month two or three prize, whatever. He's a lame prize. So I guess this is all mostly month two. All right, well, I won map. Let's go ahead and get started. Being a turn, I'm going to give, what's his face? What's a good rage token? Let's give him this fiery token, this fire token for his, his reaped souls. I haven't choose Battle Fury this turn. He'll go ahead and pick up Rond. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeah, let's go not there, but uh, here. We'll, we'll slap Rond right there. Let's have Moro carry Guy nine squares. One, two, three, four. Put you there. And then what terrain is this even? Is that blocking? Is that what that car is? That blocking terrain? Whatever. Put Guy here. Oh, the one on fire. And I th yeah, yeah, it's blocking. It's got like a thin... also sidestep guy, and we'll sidestep Rond here, I guess. That's not the score you should be in. Cool. And I'll say it's your go. All right. Let's see. So I've got got some improved movement. I don't know if I'm actually going to use these objects at all. Um. I put them out there just because I needed to fill points. Let's see. I can phase. I think I can phase like with uh, 
good old T-Ray, I can phase all the way up there and just punch your guy gardener right away. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll do that, though, because that seems like a silly idea. Um... Yes, you can't attack anyone unless they're named Deadpool, Simeon. Is that how it works? Yeah. Phasing Just phasing teleport, teleport, period. When he does, does, you may instead place him to someone named Deadpool in its name. Yeah. But then it's, a, then it's got like an Oxford common says, after this action resolves, he may be given a close combat action as a free action. I don't know. Maybe so I assume that's... Deadpool. I just... I took it as like the whole trait, like the slash that they do now. I don't know though. Oh, the comma is part of like. Oh no, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. No idea, to be honest with you. I don't know why they would just give him phasing. So yeah, sure, man, go for it. In any event. Um, In any event, yeah. I think he's gonna land. He's gonna phase here. Carrying the canine. Uh, give him a fancy action token. Wolverine Agent of Hydra has stealth, which is good. And I should probably take advantage of that. Does anyone on your team see through it? Ron Vidar, because he has the spotlight. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Spotlight boy, huh? Well, we're going to move Wolverine. It's me. Actually. It's your boy, Ron Vidar, with the spotlight. You know how it is. We're going to move Cosmic X-23 to here, carrying Wolverine onto the uh, good old Omega Drive. Might try and pick it up. It's a pretty good odds. Three through six isn't bad. Um... That's only two actions. Kingpin also has stealth. So maybe I'll just move him like eight squares somewhere. Is that blocking? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. We'll move him right there. And... Let's see, we've got Outwit with Kingpin. So let's, let's see. So you have to be adjacent for that one. Um, when he does, he can count range and draw a line of fire from any friendly character with an 8 range. So I can count from Dogpool if I wanted to. What is, what's Guy got on um. Dog 1? No, he's got that special speed power, which is that sidestep, arch flurry. It's also got precision uh, yeah, strike, yeah. dominable, shape change, and toughness. Let's outwit that speed power. Not, Are you sure? Not super sure? worried about the other ones, yeah. Dang, that sucks. Indeed. Yup. Yup. <laughs> that'll be... My turn. I don't think I've got any other free actions I need to worry about. Okay. Uh, I could have picked telekinesis with T-Ray, but I did not, so... Oh, so wow. Thanks. Just count yourself. Wow. Oh. Wow. wow. Alright, cool. No leaderships. Uh, I don't know if we said this yet. It's a 500-point game, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. No one was paying attention. All right. We can now with everybody but Cosmic X23, as she is, of course, obviously uh, Cosmic. So we got two outwits. Let's have Moro. He can only see the dog right now. Let's outwit the dog's. I don't know. It's the dog got charged super senses got adorability uh yeah, adorability. He's got charge super senses okay oh he does have perplex so i could have perplexed down your defense um mm. that wouldn't have helped me a whole lot 
He's got the special perplex super senses precision strike like speed or charge. attack or can you only do defense? It's only defense. Oh, it's only oh, defense. It can take away your stealth when I do it though. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, cool. Let's go ahead. Beginning of the turn, Spectre, let's just say he doesn't have Battle Fury, so we can shoot someone this turn, I guess. He's got nine range. Which is really cool. Let's have Rond Vidar. I don't know if we outwit the Kingpin's stealth, we can shoot him with Spectral. Spectre. Kingpin's not in stealth. But there oh, is he two not? Oh. blocking adjacent to him. So Rond can't see him, but Spectre Rond, can yeah, see but Spectre's, yeah, Spectre's Yeah, Spectre's big. All right, cool. Uh, Rond could sidestep theoretically there, and then outwit toughness on Kingpin. No, you still can't. Kingpin. Ah, there. where is this map? These ah, are, I see yeah, it. Those All are blocking. right, never mind. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Yeah, let's just shoot him. Let's just shoot him with Spectre. Let's just get it over with. Spectre versus Kingpin. Spectre's got that big 11. It's a 6 and a we'll 4. Hit 21. I have nothing to uh, prob that with. Can I Hydra you? Can I decrease your attack by one? That's not how Hydra works, but yeah, sure, Simeon. Okay. I'll do that then. Oh, it still hits. Okay. Uh, how much damage are you dealing with the Spectre? I'll be doing four damage with the Spectre. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Oh, no. So I lost the cool power with Kingpin. I still have stealth and the ability to use Outwit, but now I just have regular uh, enhancement, so... Mm. We'll what? see how that works. It loser. Feels like... Who on your team has Indomitable? Agent of Hydra, X-23... Uh, does T Ray have Indomitable? No. Uh, no one except X twenty three. Oh, really? Wolverine power. doesn't have yeah. it. Oh, no. Cool. I'll be damned. I'll be darned. Yeah, whenever really they do like an right. interesting Wolverine, they never give him willpower. Like the Vampire Wolverine, no willpower. Yeah. Hydra Wolverine, no willpower. Scroll Wolverine, no willpower. That uh, that really sucks. I had no idea that was a hmm. a reoccurring factor for some reason. Let's have Rond. Wit the dog's defense, and he'll shoot, you know, the dog. All right, I'm Direct a tiny diagonal puppy. there. You so are I'm, tiny. I'm a 17. So get a plus one, yeah. Let's see what Rond can do here. Mm. Aha. I'll hit a 19. Too high for my liking. Or three damage. I'm still alive. All right, it's a token on Rond. Uh, lost my charge, so now I'm just a blank speed value with blades, super senses, and lost my perplex. I'm going to clear Moro, and I'll say it's your go. All right. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is roll for leadership with good old Wolverine. That'll be a two. Okay. Um is T-Ray at the beginning of the turn. Free action. I don't know if anything is beginning of the turn other than leadership. Yeah, okay. So just the leadership matters. Uh, let's see. So I can charge, do the special blades with uh, good old X-23. She can get five squares, so that's a whole, let's see, I can go mess up Guy Gardner or this green guy. Alternatively, she does have seven range, so she could just shoot from where she's at. Maybe take out she Moro. Could. Cause she could. Oh, you think you can take out Moro? Spectre didn't take... Uh... Battle Fury, so I can target him. Did not. You can shoot. Yeah, you can he shoot. Does have impervious though. Hmm. So she has. Let's see. Blades, claws, fangs. Oh, she's got improved targeting through hindering. So if Kingpin still had his uh 
special damage power, I could give her ranged combat expert. Since he doesn't have that, I feel like Bladesine is probably the better option. So, a 10 attack. Uh, I don't really like that. Um... Uh... I don't know if T-Ray is worth picking up the the uh, straight jacket or if I just move him somewhere and attack somebody. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's let's fly Cosmic X twenty three to here, and we'll give her a second action token to Blades on good old. No, Ron Vidar. No, oh no. Well, Ron Vidar here has got a uh, got shape change. Uh oh. So big, big five six. See what happens. Um, that's a three. So go for it. You are allowed to attack uh, old right. Ron here. So you have a seventeen. I got a seventeen with that beautiful, beautiful ESD. All right. So I need a seven with blades. That's a four. Mm. We'll miss. That's a uh, very interesting, interesting strategy you just went with there, Simeon. Good attack there. Uh, let's see. I think. Hmm. I don't know what power would be good for T Ray. He's got super strength, so I've got that going for me. Uh, blades might be okay. Can't remember how far he can get. Five square. Uh, no, he can just phase. His isn't. It's not like one of the like serpent society or anything. It's just when he phases. It seems kind of busted for 120, even though he doesn't have indom. That's that's why I feel like ten square only for Deadpool, phasing but... with yeah. That does seem strange. Let's go. Yep, sure does. <laughs> Let's go with, uh, <laughs> I guess, Blades, because that seems like a decent Going option. Going with Blades, going to phase across the map with his already three damage, and he's going to Blade somebody. Yeah, he's going to go. Don't need, like, here. precision strike. Oh, oh, oh all right. Dog. Okay, sure, the dog. And this will be a push for him, so. Mm, T-Ray, T-Ray, T-Ray. Uh... He is a 11 attack. Into... I'm really pushing off that top click, huh? Yeah, 11 into okay. whatever that guy is. Uh, 17, old Moro here. Asking for a lot with these sevens. Aren't you? Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Well, I have no way of probbing that, so I'll just be a crit hit, dude. All right. Ouch. Let's see what the blade It's like Moro says. is going to be the first as Green Lantern as to die. <laughs> As long as it's not a one ideal damage. One, baby. Ugh. That's disgusting. Actually, Dude, he cursed himself. Actually, it'll be oh, three. It still does damage with blades. Yeah, it still does three. So oh, I'll no, go it'll to... It'll be click. three minus one, so it'll be two, but then one extra because and, of the crit. Yeah, three. Yeah. So, yeah, I still deal at least one damage. I also I'll go damage. down to click. I'll go to click two. What a garbage. Uh, traded garbage move imagine uh, if you would have rolled out like a six yeah on the opposite end of the spectrum and that's why you want to go for it with the blades uh after all that six on blades that's uh i'll tell it to you after the show never mind <laughs> wolverine's gonna try and pick up the omega drive need a three through six dice haven't been friendly so uh okay oh there's, be five there's a five that would have been good for blades uh, so he'll equip the good old Omega Drive. Put that on his card. And with the Omega Drive... I already forgot. Uh, I can use Outwit. Target any character in its range, regardless of line of fire. May use Outwit to counter powers. And his range, of course, being zero. So that'd be minimum six for Outwit. Um... Let's see, let's continue the trend of outwitting Guy Gardner's outwit with Kingpin. Mm. Uh, he'll use X-23 or T-Ray. 
whoever's within eight. That, they that cuts me deep. That cuts me deep. I want to do things with my gardener, Simeon. I know. I know. <laughs> um, Wolverine will outwit. Actually, Wolverine could have done that, I think. Uh... Yeah, we'll have Wolverine out do that outwit. And then Kingpin will use T Ray to outwit. Uh, what's that guy got? Moro has. Yeah. Wait. Kingpin will outwit yeah. Moro's outwit. Unless he's in stealth. I don't. I can't tell. Moro? Moro's not in stealth right now, no. Okay. So yeah. that'll be what we do. And I'll clear Kingpin because he has no use other than outwitting. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, beginning of the turn, we are going to choose Battle Fury with ooh, the Spectre. And then, oh, it's not a lot we can do until we take care of the Kingpin. We're going to have Ronde Vidar try to sidestep Breakaway. Um, X23. Ah, that is a three. We do not get it. Real bummer. But uh, since Rond can see the kingpin, we're going to outwit his outwit. Can he? See oh, him? I can't. I don't know why. I don't know why <laughs> I keep thinking I can see through this blocking terrain, but I keep thinking that, and it bothers me. What am I doing? Hey, stop it! All right, all right. This gracious. What am I doing? All right, fine. Let's have man. A guy has no range too. This bothers me so much. Let's, yeah, Spectre had to choose Battle Fury. He's going to clear. So Moro gets to outwit someone and punch him a whole bunch. I think we're going to outwit T Ray's toughness and punch uh, T Ray here. Uh oh. T Day was 10 on 17. Yes. Oh, miss. That is a three. Almost certainly miss. All right. Well, I think it does Wolverine have two tokens right now? Wolverine only has one. He was carried. He has sure. one. Oh, it's big. It the does dog. say pushed though. However, yeah. yeah. Uh. Because I wanted to keep the colors. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. The dog, and Wolverine and Kingpin are all able to do stuff. Yeah. Let's go ahead. We'll put Guy Gardner next to uh, next to him there. Wow, interesting. Let's clear old Ron de Vidar and clear uh, the Spectre. So these action tokens enough time. It's getting gracious. Right, and it is your go. All right. Leadership is not going to matter for Wolverine. It's not adjacent to anybody. Uh, if only. Um... Uh... The Spectre is quintessent, so Wolverine yes. with the Omega Drive can get around it, but no one else. He can. Um, you are correct. I think Wolverine's going to use his super special uh, She Makes Me Invisible power. I can use Charge and Stealth. When I use Charge, I don't have my speed value from it, and I can use Improved Movement characters. So Ooh, ah. Ooh, I'm going to ah. go... Eight squares from where I am, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and annoying this good old Specter boy. Annoying, but okay. Go right there. I have a value. I have an eleven into your whatever your defense is. Eighteen. Ooh, so I need a seven. That'll oh my gosh! By quite a bit. Seven has been the average roll. I think we've all needed a seven to hit, and it's basically it's literally the average roll. And there's so many missed sevens this game. It's kind of sad. Yeah, it's what happens when we don't have modern tactics with probs and uh, perplexes. Uh, and basically, so cheating and other that's, things. That's a second token for him. Ugh. He will take Ugh. a push. I Man. will. You're just ruthlessly pushing your guys. You just don't yeah. care. I'll get rid of Spectre's attack power, whatever that okay. may be. I don't. I don't know what with it is. With the Wolverine, yeah. you know what it is. You know it's his poison. It's Shut your mouth. Omega drive. You know it's his poison. Um, 
think Kingpin is going to outwit Guy Gardner's speed with X23. so much. <laughs> I'm going to use her line of fire for that. Oh my gosh. And then my good boy, uh, Dog Pooh, uh, who's on click something. Uh, click four. He's going to try and blades Moro. So he's got a nine attack. Well, he'll try. Yeah. Moro can't be hit with that 17, you know. In eight. The first eight you'll need. Oh. Be nice. Higher. It's one <laughs> one roll higher than what I... And what are these dice right now? These are terrible. I'm going to set this here. Cause... In trouble trying to give that to your dog. Dog pool is... Yeah. Uh, T-Ray will pick as a free action to heal pick uh, Quake. And... I don't think I have any other free actions, so we'll just clear everybody. I could technically roll to heal X23, but it does nothing, so. He really needs to do that right now, I can tell. Okay, so my go, I think, I don't think there's anybody within range of me that needs to, whatever. So I'll just choose Battle Fury. With Red Lantern Spectre here, might as well. I don't think it actually benefits me too much, but I as well say, go for it. How does this card read? Uh, Battle Fury, if he does, can't be targeted by opposing figures unless they are adjacent. Okay, I was adjacent, yeah. so okay. Just make sure yeah. I was legal. People are adjacent, I, yeah. I All right, and then let's go ahead and see a lot of other free stuff we can do. So let's have Ron to try to sidestep Breakaway again. He gets it this time, that uh -oh. big four. He's going to sidestep right here. He's going to, you ready for this? Maybe. Take a wall destroy <laughs> action. Flip this thing again. I don't remember. There you go. Thank you. All right. And then he's going to outwit the Kingpin's outwit. Oh. Finally. I'm off my stealth clicks. Wait, am I? Yes. No, I'm not. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I have yeah. the spotlight. Thank That's you. Right. Now, finally, Guy Gardner will charge. Well, sidestep first. I'd step to here where the token is. He'll charge. Ooh, baby. All up in X-23's business. Can this, why will this token not? Here we go. Right. Two tokens, actually. Yeah. Get it right. Or a second token. Yeah, yeah. 12. Well, whatever. Sorry. Just attack. Oh. Ooh, that will hit a 20. Okay. Eight. For how much damage? For three damage with precision strike. Okay, so it doesn't matter if I make my impervious roll, but I'm gonna roll it. Not. I got it. Uh, but precision strike will still do one, so I'll take one. All right, second attack. Still twelve. Ooh, it's a nineteen. Nineteen. The impervious says. Did not matter. Okay. Uh, so I'll take another one, and now I have prob control, huh. which is actually kind of good. All right, and then, let's see, that was Guy Gardner's action. Oh, man, maybe we shouldn't have, uh, maybe we shouldn't have done that Battle Fury with Red Lantern Spectre. We could have taken out X-23 this turn. Sure, sure, sure. tried. I don't know if uh, uh I don't know if you're up I don't to, know to the task. I mean yeah it's pretty high defense but I I mean anyways let's have Spectre just punch Wolverine ooh don't like that eleven here ah yes a two and a six and a six that's six let me, let me look at this uh uh I'm it's showing uh. me a four. <laughs> Did it move? Oh, what the it? heck? <laughs> I didn't touch it. I didn't click it. 
this does a 17 hit what, what is this game a 17 does still hit um okay super senses says for senses oh that was a ah. i'm gonna keep that result though a three a big okay. four for a big four damage with the specter and we're gonna clear moro say it's your go Ooh, I've got mind control now. Um, Ooh, shiver me timbers. As a free action, let's uh, see if we can heal X23. Four, five, or six. A four, I will heal one click. Which is not really the result I wanted, mm. but mm. it's not the worst. Uh, so she's got her blades thing back. What does Guy have for a defense right now? He has toughness, and then shape also protecting him, he has shape change. Yes. Let's outwit the shape change. Oh, you outwitted my kingpin's outwit. That's and right, I did. That's right, I did. Wolverine is. Uh... I guess Wolverine. Rond is not Vidar, a baby. Character within range, regardless of line of fire. I could get rid of the shape change. Wolverine's on a decent click right now. Decent enough. Let's... Yeah, let's outwit the shape change with Wolverine. Okay. Because X-23 needs to make some sort of attack hit. Uh, she's going to try and Blades 10 into a 17. hit an 8. 18. Alright. This is where we roll super sense. It's just kidding. We got nothing to roll. Alright. How much damage? Uh, I get a roll for blades. And then no. I'll add your... I'll add half of I your damage, damage value. to it. Still have that cosmic blades power? Oh yeah, that's right. You healed. Alright. Okay, so I rolled a pitiful 3. Plus 2 though, because I have a 3 damage on mine. Yeah, so it'll be if five. If I take four. Yeah, four after. Yeah, five to four. One, two, three, four. Ah, shoot. And that's an action for X-23. That's that's a bit of a bummer, I must say. Right right on past a good poison eclipse. A little bit of a bummer, got to say. I think. On Vidar is going to have to you know take care of business here. <laughs> I think we're going to have to uh, push the dog to try and blades Morrow. Oh, yeah. I kind of regret getting next to him. Oh, but... yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Here. A 16. Mm -mm. Don't think so. Oh, no, that's actually a 15 because I have a 9 attack. Ooh. ooh. Not going to happen. That'll take him down one click. Uh, what are my options here? Um, I think we just move T Ray here. Oh, interesting. Carrying my dog, and uh, mm. just go ahead and punch Rond. Inconvenient, Rond but Rond Vidar shall now roll shape a challenge. He gets a one on the shop challenge, so yeah, go for it. 10 attack. Need a 7. Ah, it's uh -huh. on the table. Two, a seven, oh, 2 and a 5. That will hit. Uh, how much damage? So he's dealing 3, but he has uh, super strength on his attack power. So he'll also knock you back into that blocking. Uh. Hmm. Or what, 2? Just, uh, just one, yeah. So I'm on dealing here. three damage total. All right. And did that get him off of his outwit? Uh, yeah, you said three damage total or uh, altogether? No, sorry. Uh, three damage one, with the attack. Two, and one, two, three, four. Yep. All right, so there he is. Yes, he is and... off outwit now. So and I'm going to say, once per game, when I am hit with an attack, 
T Ray will go back to his starting area. Okay. And I get to place him in the starting area. No. You'll never okay. do that. Don't do that. Don't. No. Give, me, give, me, give, me, no. give me. Let me touch your hero clicks figures. <laughs> How'd you get him? I was being so oh, oh, wow. That's fine. Where uh, else did you think I was going to place? I don't know. Like, really close. Yeah. Uh, oh. Kingpin will now have he'll uh, outwit using X-23's Ooh. range and line of fire to get rid of uh, let's see, what does Guy Gardner have right now? Ooh, right now? Ooh, it's rough. Combat reflexes is, is oh. the most threatening thing he has. Yeah. Uh, Down dial. I'm not super worried about so she did something Dog did something T-Ray did something Kingpin can't really attack uh, am I worried about the exploit? A little bit. He's got two action tokens, though. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Ron... Rond Vider's prob. You gotta quit saying that. Okay, well, when I'm targeted with prob with Plex or Outweight, I have to roll D6. On a 4 through 6, can't be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, well, yes, you will outwit my prob. That's Never mind. <laughs> Uh, I tried. See. I tried, Ron. I remembered your abilities and all that jazz. Wolverine no. gets to clear. And that is my whole turn. You're going. All right. Yeah. Let's Kingpin's go ahead. If Mr. Red Spectre have to choose Battle Fury or whatever, let's just choose Battle Fury. I think that's it for being a game or being a turn. So let's poison Wolverine with Spectre. Ouch. Deal on that that big old one penetrating damage. And then let's see, guys. Rough. Rond is in a rough spot. Let's have Rond. Oh man, it's really it'd be great if we had two bolts on Rond right now. Just looking at targets here. Let's have him go ahead and shoot uh the dog. He has the easiest wow. chance of hitting the dog. Yes. Wow. Dog killer, Ron Vidar, rolling it up. I will hit a 16. That's a exactly 9 attack. What I have. Um, Is it? Yeah, because I'm tiny. Nice. nice. You're tiny with Unless the pluses, it yeah. Through rain or through hindering. Which Once I'm, again, oh, spotlight, it though. It does. Spotlight, okay. though. Spotlight, though. Yeah, kind of have the spotlight this, construct. That corner. Fine. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to ask. I hope you're happy. Thank you. Yes, I am very happy. Love killing dogs. Please don't. Please don't <laughs> clip that out, people. <laughs> don't. I'll take that against me when I run for mayor here it'll in five a, years. It'll be a bumper. I yeah. add to one of our. I'll episodes. be real. Oh, geez. All right. Next up, let's let the murder in continue, and let's have Specter Murderer murder the Wolverine. Don't like that. Nope. That should hit. Roll. That'll be a, a ten. Uh, Four damage. Roll for the Omega Drive. And oh, that's, that's not how that three. works. So I'll reduce your damage by three. So how that's, much are you doing? Yeah. Okay. You'll take one then, if that was true. But uh, uh, you'll take four. Well, two. Uh, looks it doesn't even 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 fake rules will not <laughs> save you. <laughs> All right. Next up, I guess let's uh Oro all up in the game. We're gonna plop him there. I'm a token, and guess what? We're gonna outwit the outwit on the kingpin. Clear guy gardener. Here you go. And I get a Ever reaped soul tokens. So I got two of those uh, on the two, lantern specter now. Two range poison. Uh, yes. I love like the first one is literally just adjacency because they didn't do like mm -hmm. the X plus whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess they just wanted it that way you would be able to get to two after your first kill. Right. Pretty much. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. Guy Gardner's no longer a huge threat to me. I think I need to go after Steve. Spectre 
with X23. So first let's roll to see if she heals. Four, five, six. That's a five. She will heal one. Azimuth has all the way back up to full. Well, yeah, it's not saying a whole lot, but uh, yeah. she will try and break away for charge. I don't think she ignores. Uh, she does for, let's see here. Improved targeting, ignores hindering, ignores outdoor blocking terrain, ignores characters for targeting. Nah. If Kingpin was still on his good click, which I forgot, I completely forgot that he has that mastermind where he doesn't have to be adjacent. So that would have been a good time to use that and keep him on that click. Uh, but she'll roll to see if she can break away from Guy with charge. Whoops, I uh, dropped it too soon. Whoops, did it again. There we go, a six. That is a good uh, number. Uh, I will accept that one. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. T-Ray's the only other figure I still have alive, and he does not have Indomitable. I can push him to get to his support power, which uh, at this point, maybe it's worth it. Uh, maybe it's Maybelline. Uh, let's see. He... Can go 10 squares. Should have done this before if I was going to do that, but uh, let's see. Well, squares. well, well. Foiled again, it should seem. Yeah. And my incredible foresight and planning skills. One could say I perfectly counted out the squares and didn't just choose the farthest <laughs> back one, but I could. Uh, yeah, we'll push him. Well, first we'll. What does what does guy have? Just pushing like no tomorrow. This guy, guy has fifteen combat reflexes. That is what guy has. Guy is not thriving right so now. Simeon seven. Uh, T Ray's got a three damage super strength. It's not really anything I can pick that would help me. I could do blades, but guy's already on click five. Three will probably yeah. get rid of him out of there. Let's just yep. pick nothing. Go there with good old T Ray. Okay. And yeah, we'll push to go ten into the seventeen. Cause sevens have been something I roll. So, so incredibly easy this match. Oh, we're rolling all over the place, Simeon. Oh, oh sh just right on. Well, that sucks. That's Guy Gardner. Kind of wanted him to, you know, like do stuff. Uh, kind of my favorite DC character. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Really, That's Guy Gardner, folks. I really should have done that before I tried to break away. Uh, I'm glad I, I figured that out afterwards. Kingpin can't do any damage, so he'll just try and break away from Moro. He'll Maybe try. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he'll get it. Again, I uh, I get it when I don't need it. Uh, seven speed. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not great. Could go one, two, end up adjacent to both of these mooks. Uh. It's not going to matter too much, mm -hmm. so we'll go one, two, three, up the stairs. Now let's mm -hmm. land in the hindering. Might as well. And that is my turn. I've used all of my actions available to me. Okay, okay. A rough spot right now. As it's going to be pretty much all clearing, we're going to choose that we do get Battle Fury with the Spectre. Spectre will then clear. Bond Vidar has no sidestep anymore, so he will just go ahead. He will clear. If I can just grab his tokens. Just grab his tokens. If I can just grab his tokens. There we go. We got it. We're thriving. Uh, same thing with Moro. Moro will also just clear. I'm not a pusher like Simeon is so yes hey, that is my turn down and out you gotta you gotta take the chances Calder okay sure that, like one damage you can do sure
first name sure. And by all means, uh, take us away. Oh, I am also clearing this oh, room. Yeah, I, also, yeah, that's what I also kind of assumed. Um, but since you didn't outwit me, uh, X-20... I have... Oh, yeah, I do, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, no, I can't see anyone. I can't see anybody to outwit. Moro. Um, X-23 power cosmic. I can't see nothing. Is Moro... He's in stealth, right? He's in stealth. You're correct. Okay, so I can use Kingpin... Or I can use X-23... Uh, for my range and line of fire, but I don't get like her improved targeting. So she's going to outwit good old uh, Ron Vidar's prob again, and then I'm going to clear everybody. All right. Well, now it's up to my turn. We're going to choose to not use Battle Fury uh, this turn with Red Lantern Spectre. And now we're going to go ahead and running shot with him. Big, he's got five squares, five squares. He also has just nine range, so yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's running shot to here, and we're going to shoot T-Ray. How dare you? Right. I like how the only damage uh, Mystic's character has taken is from me. Yes, so. you are a fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, 11 on stuff. Ooh, hits 20. All right, that'll hit me for four, so I'll take three. Four, and then I'll take one because you are a mystical person. That is true. Now, Ron Vidar gets to make these big power plays, which is in-capping uh, 23, I guess. Uh oh. My He's got goodness. a nine attack. I mean, you only need an eight. Uh, yes, a That's four. A four. That is halfway there, so we'll prob it with old Rondy boy. I outwitted that. Never mind. It's still a four. <laughs> Not because the game knew. I forgot. Yeah, you should. Yeah, the game was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was hoping All for right. a crit miss with Spectre or something. Boro. I'm for Moro uh, to just follow you around, I guess. And it's your turn. All right. Invincible on Spectre means I can do a max of three. Oh, I should have dropped my Omega Drive over here somewhere. No one would have been able to pick it up because, I mean, you technically can hold it. It's not immobile or anything, but you can't equip it with Spectre. Um... Let's start with rolling regen for T Ray. A four. I'll heal two clicks. And I'm I'm out of oh, there they are. I need to copy some more of these. Uh it's an action for T Ray. Where is he? Where is he? There we go. Uh Ugh. It's not really any great thing I can do. I guess I might as well blades with X-23. Because if she hits, then there's a small chance. Yeah, if she hits, then I can possibly do five. Otherwise, I'm definitely not going to do five. So she'll try and hit the specter. Okay. Oh, try. It's a <laughs> that is indeed a try. I would say, nice even... man. I don't even know if she's awake at this point. Seventeen, uh... just the most difficult combat <laughs> value. It really to is, hit. yeah. Kingpin's gonna go ahead and just go for the go for the crit. Try and really smack old Moro here. Not at all what I thought was gonna happen, but yeah, let's get into it. I mean, I. You outwitted my out. Or wait, can you see through stealth? Oh, I can't, so I didn't outwit anything, dude. Oh, okay. I didn't outwit my defense. That's good, then. Um, you didn't outwit my defense? I don't understand. Nah, well... Hmm. I mean, you can't roll a 7, but I believe that you can roll this crit hit. I'm doing the math. Yeah, I don't think... 
He might be able to kill T-Ray, but I don't think so. So I'll go ahead and outwit his defense and try and punch him. Okay. Moro's defense. Ah, another four. Well, well, well. Great. I don't know what is up with our dice rolls. This is just... Ugh. Yeah, I'm taking this pair. This is mine well, now. Hey, don't take my dice. They didn't even roll that well. Eh. Talking about the only rolls. They rolled two fours last time. Eh. Switching dice? Is that what you want to do? <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Okay. All right. I think this is a rock tournament. We just let's get new dice now, and then we have to use those dice. Yeah. Right. Get a specific right, cool. of garbage that, dice. Is that everything? That is. Yeah. I regened. Tried to attack twice. Yep. That's all I can do. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, turn. Uh, we might have to just choose Battle Fury with the spec. Now nah, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, we'll choose anyways. And then let's poison and poison T Ray and X23. Okay. If you say so. I, I insist. Uh, Ron Vidar is an in cap and man. So let's have him in cap X23. Uh oh. It's a 16 hit. That'll miss by one. So let's prob it. Try to get that big 17. Uh, Ooh, does a 17 hit? There it is. No. These are your dice, not mine. Just saying. No, it'll be. That's the second action token on you, buddy. No. Not doing it. Sure. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. It's not like she was going to hit anyhow. That's fine. Here is going to annihilate T-Ray. It is a 11 for 4. A 6 for 4 damage. Ah, it was going to be a 3, too. <laughs> Was it? Ah, uh, shoot. All right, Good thing whatever. You dropped God. that in cap, though. Shut up, Simeon. <laughs> Shut up, Simeon. All right. Moro going to push. We're going to punch the kingpin. Get out of here. Oh, he's got three damage with blades. It's possible. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh -huh. Good. Yes. Not good. That'll be a push. Poisoning my dice push. and giving them to you has Moro. worked. Yeah, um, you can really see that, honestly. Oro still has outwit. We're going to outwit T Ray's. No, he can't even choose powers or anything, can he? Not right now, no. Yeah. I don't know. Well, outwit is hard. Uh, yeah, sure. Next, we can't see Kingpin. Yep, all right, so here you go. All right. Kingpin is going to outwit. Moro's outwit this turn, I think. Okay. And I'm I'm just gonna clear everybody because I can't think of. Oh wait. Uh. Free action. Okay. Before I clear, free action. I thought it was beginning a turn. Uh. See if I heal X twenty three. It's worked so far. A six. I will heal. Two. Up to my hyper uh, uh, Okay, nice try. What do you mean? Nice Sorry, try, she's buddy. She's a vampire. Uh, I don't think so. She's not a vampire. She's cosmic. No vampires going on here, buddy. All right. That's all I got. Outwitting okay. your outwit and clearing yeah. slash healing. Yeah. Well, we have to do what we always do, and that is poison. All right, well, first we're going to choose Battle Fury. Choose that we get Battle Fury. Uh, yeah, poison, and then we're going to clear the rest of the team. Hmm. Not a big fan of the poison thing. He's no. got that, like, his whole dial, I... too, right? Has um... it for four clicks in his life. I guess Ron only had one token. Now, nah, whatever. We'll clear him up. That's fine. I should have had two. Uh, roll two. Regen. Oops. Good old. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. If that was really a roll there. <laughs> yeah, I think it, I think it was. <laughs> uh, T Ray. Go. One, two, three. As per uh, standard ROC rules. Um, man. I really need that Omega Drive right now because uh, that Invincible is kind mm -hmm. of awful for me. Um, and there's no use in trying to break away, so let's use X23 to get rid of Ron Vidar's prob. 
Don't need that messing me up right now. Mm, okay. And we'll have Cosmic X23 attempt to Blades the Spectre. Little, really still be cap really uh, yeah 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 whatever whatever i'll roll for blades, roll blades. yeah sh whatever so okay so for six but three yes. one two three i hate you simeon you. Uh, all right i really you know i can't express in words how much I hate you, but like really we switch dice and then you roll another crit hit. <laughs> Clearly that was my crit hit to have. <laughs> Whatever. Those dice were waiting for it. Uh, it just, I really uh, wish I had used that to attack Morrow and knocked him back. Oh, knock him off. Yeah. I should just kill him when he killed uh, him, but yeah. That would have been pretty fun. Um, I'll roll to heal just, uh, X23 because uh, I haven't yeah, done whatever. that this turn. Of course. Ah. Get out of here with your poison. And so, Kingpin now, what does Morrow have on click two? 17 toughness. So I can damage him now, Great. so I'll attempt to do so. Yeah. Uh, nine attack. Need an eight. Or another crit hit, maybe. With these special dice. Oh, now there's my four. There you go. It's better. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's all I got. All right, my turn. We're going to choose Battle Fury. And we're going to roll Regen on old Red Lantern Spectre here. See what we get. Ah, it's big two. Heal one. Hmm. If only I had hit just you with T-Ray. Just enough, though, to poison you guys. Hmm. Yes. All right, now I feel like Pyrrhic should be dead. I don't feel like he should be on click four, but that's where it is. Where it is. <laughs> Let's have Mr. Moro punch the kingpin. You would dare. Ah, there's the big eight. Kingpin. Uh, I don't even think you need an eight, eight. A ten. Are you just doing your printed damage? Yeah. Well. Click me on, click four. Or roll blades. Okay. Need to roll one of these. A one? Is that what I. Yeah, a one. Still two. So I'll take one damage because toughness. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we both rolled one on blades. This is awful. <laughs> All right. Rond Vidar is going to say it is incapacitate time on X23. Hmm. Uh, uh, Ooh, 19? It's an 18, yeah. Uh, 18, that'll sadly hit. I will give me one. Good job, Ron. Points. Good job, Ron. And action token. That is, that is my turn. All right. I will roll for my X23 to see if she heals. That's a four. I'll heal one. Jeez. So annoying. It is. And really think like every time I look at her at a hundred points, I'm like, ah, oh, she's so easy to kill. But I just can't do it. It's so annoying. Well, in like a normal situation where you have like psychic blast or something, and you could yeah, psychic blast yeah, for four. Right. It's just in these like slightly underbuilt teams where there's not a lot of perplex prob top dial. Um T Ray needs to do something. He wants to hit the specter so that you can't reduce damage below one. So let's, uh, blades isn't really going to help me. Neither super strength, smoke cloud, TK, uh, flurry. Is that an attack power? I'll go with flurry. Yeah. Uh huh. Nice try. Very good try, but no, all right. Uh, I'll do blades. Don't you smoke cloud, though. Don't you smoke cloud? <laughs> I'll do blades with T Ray. 
We'll see if this okay. works. Uh, 10 into a 17. Uh, ah! That so. will hit. I just saw a 2 first, and I was excited. That will hit for a big, big how much. Uh, let's see. I need higher than a 2. Do I have to be hit by your attack or damaged by your attack? That's the same as my damage. Whoa. That's the okay, same as so my I damage. Cannot, so... I, won't be able to, I will not be able to heal this turn, so I will take one damage. Uh, let's see. Close combat attack can't be healed, and damage dealt to them can't be reduced below one. Yeah. yeah so that, is, that was a push for old. Big, yeah, it's a big oof with. for me. And good, good on the oh, push. Get on ones. that. All right, I'm okay with that. Quick five now. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, I think Kingpin will just clear this turn, but first we'll let's see. Let's outwit mm. good old. Ron Vidar's prob again. There's no reason to uh, have yeah. that around. Yeah. And that'll be my turn. Gotcha. Let's see. Be a turn. We're going to choose Battle Fury with Spectre. I think that is fine. Yeah, let's just go ahead and have Moro try to swing on Kingpin here. I try to get rid of him. I will a 16 hit. That is my defense. Very nice. I will deal my three damage and not roll uh, blades. Ugh. Fine. I'll take two. Ooh, I now have we'll close take combat expert. Oh. Good. Do you have outwit anymore? No. I will outwit your close combat expert. Actually, let uh, me take let me take my push. See if I still have that. I don't have it anymore. Never mind. Take that back. I will not outwit anything. Let's yeah. Shoot. Odd Vidar though, it's incapacitate, and you know what he's gonna do, Simeon. He's gonna go ahead and incap X twenty three so she can free heal. Uh oh. Grab. Oh, she yeah. she should have cleared last turn, right? She should have cleared last turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I will just normal incap here. Nine to stuff. That uh, will be crit missed. We're going to re-roll that with my new prob, which Ooh. is great. So, Simeon's rolled two crit hits. I have rolled one crit miss. That, I assume, will miss 15. Yeah. Just throwing that out there, guys. Just Oh, and every time you try to target me with that weight, I should have been rolling my lantern special, but that's fine. <laughs> Not reading cards. All right. My special. Let's card. slaughter. I don't know. Let's just phase away. Wuss. Uh, it's phase away your slaughter key ray. Let's slaughter key ray with red lantern. Try to mm. kill him. Ten to your whatever. Uh oh. Ah, it's a big nine for nine. three three damage. Mm. That'll do three damage printed. So I'll take it's three two. damage printed. So one, two, two, yeah. Okay. I'll take one mystic. All right, get a yes. second token. Yes. It is going to be your go, Simeon. All right, pretty simple turn. Uh, I'm just going to clear T-Ray, call it a day, huh? That's yeah. what I would do, too. Going to close combat expert. Let's see, what is Mordor got going on? Uh, all right, uh, first of all, it's Moro. Yeah, he's got just 17 toughness right now. Well, super strength gives me knockback. An 11, I'd need a 6 to hit. Let's go ahead and... I mean, I can... I can deal you 1 with 2. Knock you back 1. And then deal you another 1. But I'd really like to go 1 and 1 with my close combat expert. So we'll do a 12 into the 17. Needing a 5. Alright. I hate to say that's going to crit miss, though. And it's just... It's what you deserve. It's are you kidding? Okay, it's a four. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I still don't like it. Uh, I'm taking three, so two. Yeah, I fall and take another one. Never reduce. Oh, I take two when I fall. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Good. That King will be Moro. Is the Moro King will Pen die. Roof. This is my roof with my stick. Um, 
a fan. Very much not a fan. Let's see. Good old Spectre's got a 17 shape change. Yeah. yeah it's not time to make some that, shape changes here, here, Spectre. Let's go ahead and try and punch with X23. All right. Oh. Miss, crit miss, crit miss, crit miss, crit miss. Miss, crit miss, crit miss. Ooh, that was almost another crit hit, and I would have pooped my pants, <laughs> I'll tell you what. We're going to so throw close. that. It yeah, so that really close. close. Uh, throw that with Rondy boy. Come on, Ron. Come on, Ron. Crit miss. Uh, oh, but it is a miss. That's 14. good. On Vidar, coming in clutch. Uh, an action token on her. And T Ray will have to clear this turn. Same thing on my turn. We're going to choose Battle Fury with what's his face? For him, Ron Vidar also needs to be cleared. It's your turn. Probably. All right. One, two, three. I can get there. Uh, T Ray is going to go ahead and roll for regen. Two, two clicks this time. Hey, you. Uh, it's an action on him. X23 is going to try and punch again. I ain't got anything. Uh, she'll try. Better going on. Yo, so. shape change. Can't see this giant man. That's right. Boom, five, baby. Uh, nice. And. Nice, nice, nice. What clicks Kingpin on? Let's go ahead and. Seven, yeah. Let's go ahead and push Kingpin to charge. Oh wait, mm. half of half. So I'm coming out of hindering. Five down to three. One, two, three. I can get there. Yeah. I hate it. People didn't believe me. All right. They well, should've... big shape change on the Spectre. Need another good five or six. Can't Boom! Get... Six, oh. baby. Ah, oh, oh. six, baby. Still, still a six. Uh, Kingpin just dies. Oh, really? That yeah. is that is kind of sad. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little sad. Pretty big gamble. I went with it. it really was. Uh, nobody clears. That was my whole turn. Yeah. So we can go to town, Ron. So we can go to town now. X23 is so effing annoying. So let us deal three to him. Be Ron to just reposition for a turn. Yes, Ron is just going to reposition up here for the turn so we can see both your guys. So that way we can problem both just in case. A Red Lantern is going to choose a -ba 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 Battle Fury. And I guess we kind of have to punch T Ray. Yeah, I'll full punch him, I guess. Mm, a crit miss, you say? Have prob. Oh, uh, hit. We'll hit. You don't want to prob it though. I do One, not want to prob it. That two, will hit you. Two clicks. All right, I will a, take one mystics. mystic, which really sucks. Yeah. Click nine. And then. Good. Good. It's your turn. Really wish your defense value tanked as much as mine do. Uh, let's go ahead and push to regen. That used to be a podcast. Um, need more than a two. Okay, so I'll take one, heal one. That's not great. I actually think that might not work anymore. I don't remember how the rules are exactly, but I think it might be since pushing is unavoidable, it happens first. You would die before you heal, but mm. I'm not a I'm not a judge. I just pretend to be one online. Uh, let's clear X twenty three. That's all I got. Yeah. All right, big old Ron Vidar. We're gonna shoot. Uh, gonna shoot T Ray. Boo. Is it through hindering? Might be through hindering. 
Oh, that'll hit a ooh, 15. We have to prob that with big old Ron Vidar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A prob. Ah! Oh. That'll another hit another 15. 15. Do it for Ron Vidar here. I'll get a token. Uh, I don't want to punch him with the specter, though. Would you like uh, to phase away? So lame, but we will phase away <laughs> and save ourselves uh, life for this turn. Since we got battle fury, can't be shot. Whoops. And it is your go. Ron Vidar needs a second token. All right. Let's go ahead and murderize right. that guy. Uh, what's he got? Oh, right no. Now? Well, you can't. I got prob and willpower. That's it. That is quite literally <laughs> it. Uh, yeah. So we're not going to do any fancy blades. We'll charge to here and just try and punch you. I need a six twice. First roll. Kind of weak. That will miss. That's a 16. Uh, no, it doesn't. Yes, we'll prob it. Okay. Second roll. Another crit hit. Crit miss. Coming down the Only pipe. fair, the crit misses. Ooh, nice, uh, though. Good miss. Three. Good miss. I will clear T-Ray. I will choose Battle Fury, and I will clear. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh... In a move that Calder definitely didn't see coming. Let's give T-Ray an action. So annoying. To charge to here. Okay. And punch Mr. Ron de Vidar. Yeah. It's seven. With super strength. Need a seven twice. That's a nine. Yeah. Probbing it with Mr. Vidar. He's got to. We'll miss. We'll kill Rond Vidar. And then... Inconvenience, I must say. Don't need to break away, so... X-23 is just going to charge. One, two, three, a four to there. Shape change on the Spectre. I literally cannot win this game. I'm like, I have to mow through X-23 a million clicks. Yeah. And then... And save T Ray for last. So yeah, thank you for putting it to an end or 15. not. <laughs> uh that's my whole turn and I can't And if it. only he had pulse wave or something. So I've just gotta kinda go choose Battle Fury. Just kinda have to like hope you never heal somehow. Yeah. And so I yeah, mean, it's a 50 Spectre, 50, so I could miss it like every time. Yeah, Spectre on X twenty three. It's a seventeen. 17. Impervious says. Now oh, he's also got to miss Impervious too, though. That's the tough. Two. Okay, well he did it. He did so it. So he'll take three. So one. One. Okay. Yeah. Then my turn. That is my whole turn. That's what the Spectre can do. Uh, I really want T Ray to finish it off and just uh, yeah. punch the Spectre. I need an eight, but you don't have a prob anymore. So let's go for it, T Ray will charge wait do i even have the speed no i do not he will clear and so will x23 after rolling to see if she heals now, this is where we have to hope she doesn't get it ah oh. good it's gonna be impossible if only my attack rolls ever had a six you will okay. choose battle fury and say punch that, x23 i've, I've crit hit like three it's all times. all we can do until simeon puts us out of our misery a 17 will hit impervious seal her Potentially one. Okay. Okay. Who takes one. Amazing. And then uh, it's your turn. Roll to heal for the lady, not the guy. Uh, mm. One does nothing for me. Uh, so, one, two, three, four. We will just regen T Ray. That was a bad roll. I'll re roll that one. Now I really can't win because I won't 
Oh, maybe actually. He heals one. And X twenty three will go for the punch. Ah, yes. Cleared. Uh, ten into the seventeen. Do you yes. still have change, change on vector? You get five, six, three will not do it for us. Oh, I'm rolling my dice the, with the Omega Drive. Even the relic card. That's a really wow. All right, eleven for three damage. Not gonna bother with Blaze. Uh that will the specter and that will be the end of the game so if you ever wondered what set was better war of light or deadpool the answer is the deadpool set so simeon is this week's two in a row i must add a thursday after, throwdown after calder's like five in a row so but making a good comeback though in this age because we I'm still have a lot of sets it, yeah. to go through yeah so, like you're you know, shortening the gap you know you're getting started now and then enough wins you'll you'll we'll be there we'll be head to head here in a sec uh, so that was another installment of Thursday Throwdown, guys. Remember, you can vote for what figures we use on Facebook. Well, I almost said Instagram. No, can't vote there. Facebook, Twitter, Discord, in the comment section of this video. If you like the video, like, subscribe, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Uh, hit that bell notification if you want to uh, You want to know when this video gets up. It'll be every Thursday uh, sometime. It's before midnight on Thursday. That is our promise for sure. Next week, uh, Simeon is building out of the Flash set. And I will be building out of the Guardians of the Galaxy set. So, Simeon, what is a figure that you would want to play? Or a couple of figures from Flash off the top of your head. You'd want to play. Um, I really like the Authority figures. So, Midnighter is really good. Engineer is kind of busted. Um, not as much as something that's in Calder's set. Uh, KC Flash is always fun. Black Lantern Zooms, a figure I've never, ever played. Um... I do like Professor Zoom. Honestly, I just love, and I hope they, like, I really hope they bring it back in a big way. I really love the Speed Force token things. I really like the feeling of, like, making progress. Like, you play a figure, and it gets, rather than being, like, a vampire dial, you get tokens if you move and make a successful attack. So, some of them just get kind of busted. Uh... There's, what, Rival, Dark Flash, those are both good. Uh, Zoom, Professor Zoom, all good. I'm sure there's, like, maybe a Flash in the set that's okay. Uh, I know KC Flash gets up to, like, 20 speed, because he starts with, like, a 17 or something ridiculous. But, yeah. All right, and then, obviously, what I would totally want from the set is just guys vote for the zombie team base vote for zombie super scroll those are the only figures that matter in the set i've played pretty much every figure in this in guardians of the galaxy i bought so much of it i am sick of the inhumans i hate the inhumans i hate the kree please just vote for zombies that's all that that's all that is in this set or if you have to vote for someone who's not a zombie for the great lake avenger death something death urge yeah death urge vote for death urge because he was kind of cool actually i like death urge and that is all. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, happy trails.